Hey everyone, welcome to All Must See. Today, I will discuss a romance drama film titled, After We Collided from 2020. Please turn on the subtitles and be aware of spoilers ahead. After one month after Hardin's breakup with Tessa, he encounters a homeless man who wants to ask him a question. However, Hardin harshly ignores him. Meanwhile, Tessa starts an internship at Vance Publishing. On her first day, she meets a man in the elevator and accidentally curses at him, but he hears her. Tessa explains that it's her first day and she's feeling nervous. When she arrives on her floor, she discovers that the man, named Trevor, also works there. The boss's secretary, Kimberly, welcomes Tessa, showing her around. She takes Tessa to the intern's room, which is a bit messy because they haven't had an intern for a long time. Kimberly mentions that whoever joins the office gets fired the next day, but she has a feeling that Tessa is here to stay. Tessa begins working and falls asleep in the office. The next morning, she wakes up to find her boss, Vance, sitting in front of her. He's impressed that she managed to read three books in one night and even wrote reviews for them. He asks Tessa to follow him and leads her to a car without giving her a chance to freshen up or grab her charger. In the car, she encounters Trevor again who suggests that it would be better if she came to work showered and in new clothes every day. Tessa inquires about their destination, and Vance informs her that they are headed to a digital publishing conference to secure funding for their company. Upon reaching the hotel, they are assigned rooms, and Vance asks Kimberly to take Tessa shopping. After they return from shopping and prepare for the evening party, Kimberly confides in Tessa that she and Vance are more than just co-workers. After Vance's wife passed away, they became very close and are now in a relationship. Tessa exclaims that she can't believe it's her first day, to which Kimberly responds that Hardin had informed them she would be a great addition. She explains that Vance had spoken to Hardin, although it seems he forgot to inform Tessa about it. They proceed to the party, where Trevor introduces Tessa to a man named Mr. Jiang, a millionaire who could potentially invest a substantial amount of money. While they converse, Mr. Jiang approaches them and offers them a drink, which they accept. After receiving their drinks, Tessa heads to the dance floor. Mistaking a man for Hardin, she accidentally kisses him, but upon realizing her mistake, she quickly retreats. Meanwhile, Hardin attends a party at the insistence of his friend. Molly attempts to flirt with him, but he forcefully pushes her to the floor and leaves. Outside, he receives a drunken call from Tessa. She comments on her appearance, expressing that she looks attractive, but laments Hardin's absence. She accuses him of not contacting her at all, and Hardin counters that he had sent her numerous messages, which she ignored. Frustrated, he hangs up. Later, Tessa returns to a hotel room with Trevor. Accidentally spilling wine on his clothes, she requests that he remove them so she can wash them before a stain sets in. Following her location, Hardin arrives at the hotel and enters the room to find Trevor partially dressed. He promptly throws Trevor out of the room. Tessa becomes frustrated with Hardin, claiming that not every guy is making advances on her. Hardin insists that she doesn't understand the situation. In her drunk state, Tessa flirts with Hardin, and their interactions lead to them sleeping together. The next morning, Kimberly calls Tessa and instructs her to prepare within five minutes. As Hardin awakens, he attempts to engage in a conversation with Tessa, but she dismisses their encounter due to her drunken state and claims it means nothing to her. Amidst her anger, Tessa accidentally reveals that she kissed another man. This revelation incites fury in Hardin, who retaliates by disclosing that he also slept with Molly. Tessa storms out and joins her team members downstairs. She apologizes to Trevor for her behavior the previous night, to which he responds forgivingly, explaining that if he were in Hardin's place, he might have acted similarly. Tessa learns from Trevor that Hardin had also worked at Vance Publishing the previous year, occupying the same position as her. This realization explains the connection between Hardin and Trevor. Vance and Kimberly join them, announcing that their efforts have yielded success Mr. Jiang has agreed to a substantial investment. Meanwhile, Hardin seeks advice from his stepbrother, who acknowledges that Hardin has mishandled the situation. Despite Hardin's desire to travel to London with Tessa, he recognizes the necessity of embarking on the journey alone. At her office, Tessa is visited by Trevor, who extends his wishes for happy holidays and an upcoming birthday celebration. He mentions having a gift for her and presents a cost analysis page detailing the expenses of her Uber rides compared to owning a car. According to his analysis, he found a more cost-effective car for her. Overjoyed, she embraces him and later purchases the car he recommended. Tessa encounters Hardin's brother, who informs her that Hardin has departed for London. Tessa visits their shared apartment to gather her belongings and discovers a birthday present from Hardin. 
While exploring the apartment, she is surprised by Hardin's sudden arrival, accompanied by his mother. His mother enthusiastically greets Tessa, assuming they are still a couple. In a private conversation, Tessa converses with Hardin, who confesses that he doesn't want to go to London without her. Consequently, his mother came along, believing they were still in a relationship. Tessa agrees to uphold the facade of their relationship. As Hardin's mother learns it's Tessa's birthday, she persuades her to stay the night, even though Tessa initially intended to return to town. They engage in a lengthy conversation, during which his mother shares a childhood photo of Hardin. As the night progresses, Tessa eventually falls asleep. In a reconciliatory gesture, Hardin and Tessa retreat to their room and mend their relationship. The following morning, Tessa meets her mother and unexpectedly encounters her ex-boyfriend, Noah, who had learned about her visit from her mother. Noah inadvertently mentions Tessa's father, mistakenly assuming she knows the topic, leaving her puzzled due to her lack of knowledge. As they converse, Noah's phone rings and Tessa's mother is on the line. Tessa seizes the call and confronts her mother. Her mother confesses that Tessa's father returned to see her, but she forced him to leave. She compares Hardin to Tessa's father, an accusation that infuriates Tessa. Storming away, Tessa returns to Hardin. That night, Hardin experiences a traumatic nightmare from his childhood. Tessa learns that he witnessed his mother being assaulted by men to whom his father owed money when he was just eight years old. Hardin's mother reveals that he sought therapy and later turned to alcohol in an attempt to cope. However, the nightmares cease after he starts dating Tessa, as she brings him happiness. Upon waking, Hardin presents Tessa with another gift, expressing his desire to witness her reaction this time. He offers her the gift of her best day, allowing her to choose any activity she desires without his objections. They spend the day together, returning home only to receive a call from Kimberly. She informs them that Vance is unwell and requests their assistance looking after his son. They agree and enjoy quality time with the boy. Upon Kimberly's return, she expresses her gratitude and tells Hardin that Tessa brings out the best in him. In the office later, Hardin surprises Tessa with an early Christmas present and implores her for a second chance. She agrees to continue their relationship. Trish, Hardin's mother, receives a call from her ex-husband, Hardin's father, inviting her, along with Hardin and Tessa, to a Christmas party. She accepts the invitation, and they all attend the party together. The prospect of seeing his father remains difficult for Hardin. At the party, he observes his father engaged in pleasant conversations with friends, which incites anger within him. His frustration escalates as he consumes alcohol, leading him to confront his father about abandoning them during a crucial period. His father acknowledges his guilt, but believes that time has allowed for healing. Enraged, Hardin strikes his father, causing Trish to walk away, retracting her decision to accompany them, and revealing her choice to forgive her ex-husband in order to move forward. She warns that Hardin's resentment will only hold him back and affect Tessa negatively. Returning home, Tessa takes a walk while Hardin vents his anger on a lamp. The following day, Tessa discusses the encounter with Trevor during lunch at the office. Trevor shares his concerns, drawing from his sister's struggles with addiction, and suggests that Tessa's relationship with Hardin may not end well. Tessa, however, remains optimistic. Trevor informs Tessa that they might not meet again as he is relocating to their new office in Seattle. Back at home, Hardin proposes attending a frat party, though he expresses reluctance due to leaving Tessa alone. Tessa insists on going together, ensuring him that their past issues are behind them. A call from Vance interrupts their conversation. Vance praises Tessa's manuscript and offers her a position in their Seattle office. Tessa agrees to consider the offer and promises to respond later. At the frat party, Tessa becomes intoxicated and engages in a truth or dare challenge with Molly. As Molly continues to belittle their relationship, Tessa loses her temper and engages in a physical altercation with her. Tessa gains the upper hand in the fight, but Hardin intervenes and pulls her away. Despite the scuffle, both Tessa and Hardin are satisfied with the outcome involving Molly. Following some intimate moments together, Tessa heads to the bathroom. Meanwhile, Hardin notices messages from Trevor on her phone, expressing confidence that they will enjoy their time in Seattle. Troubled by the messages, Hardin storms off, prompting Tessa to follow him and inquire about the situation. Hardin encounters a girl on the ground floor and emphasizes that she should not reveal what transpired earlier. Tessa mistakenly believes that Hardin and the girl had kissed before, and in frustration, she storms out. Hardin trails closely behind her, prompting her to impulsively kiss a random guy in an attempt to provoke a reaction from him. A heated argument ensues, during which Hardin expresses his exasperation at Tessa's lack of trust. 
he declares that he is unsure how to gain her trust if she cannot rely on him. Upon returning home, Tessa apologizes to Hardin via message, but he is unreachable due to his phone being powered off. After eventually charging his phone, he discovers Tessa's messages and hastily calls her. Unfortunately, Tessa is driving and attempts to answer the call, resulting in an accident. Hardin, on the road with his friend, spots Tessa's car, but by the time they arrive, the ambulance has already departed. Later, when Hardin calls Tessa's phone, Trevor answers and advises him to leave her alone, stating that she is not content with their relationship. Hardin assumes responsibility for the accident and decides to distance himself from Tessa. However, his mother persuades him to reconsider, emphasizing the importance of pursuing his own happiness. At Tessa's office farewell party for Vance, during which he proposes to Kimberly, Trevor informs Tessa about what he had told Hardin. He hints at revealing something else and departs momentarily. Tessa spots Hardin on the second floor, sparking a brief confrontation. Despite their disagreements, Tessa decides to rekindle their relationship. In a subsequent encounter, they meet the homeless man Hardin previously encountered, only to discover that he is Tessa's father. To witness the next part of this story, please subscribe to stay updated, as I will be uploading it soon. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being a part of our journey. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below. Your support means the world to us. Stay inspired and spread positivity. See you soon.